Hey everyone, I am wearing the Heart Guard Mini Plus, and I just want to share this with you today, show you what it looks like, give you an idea what this is like. Um, so here goes. First of all, I went to the doctor. They put me on a 30-day heart monitor, and I have it on, as you can see. I've seen a few things on the internet, on YouTube, about the um, heart monitors, but I haven't seen any with the brand that I'm wearing. So I thought it would be helpful if I show you mine. Uh, first of all, it comes in a little box like this. Everything that you need is in here, except for the fact that I am using a fanny pack. I, you know, and that's to, to hold part of this in. So I've got a little fanny pack here that's mine that I use. Um, let's open the box up and I'll show you what is inside. And here it comes with some extra things that you need to put your monitor on and off. Um, it comes with instructions. As you can see, it's a nice little instruction booklet that it comes with. Uh, pretty much everything you need to know is in here. <laughs> and don't necessarily go by the directions that they give you at the doctor's office because with mine, my directions that they gave me is not how this thing actually works. I don't know if it was a new girl that was working there, but she did not tell me everything correctly. So I'm going to kind of go over this with you guys and give you an idea what it's like. The monitor is really easy. I mean, this is all it is. I was afraid that it was going to be like a huge thing with like wires coming out. And it's not it's just this little thing right here and it comes with a the second piece it comes with three pieces in total really that are important so the monitor itself which I'm going to cover up because I don't like looking at it a little cell phone and what I do because this looks a little bit like my own cell phone is I just put a rubber band around this one and that makes it useful when I see this laying around. I know that's my heart monitor. Um, I'll show you when I turn it on. This is what it looks like. It's a little phone that they give you. It's not an app that I use on my cell phone. So it comes with, it looks like an iPhone. Um, and it has this in there. Let's see. And the only two things that this thing really, that you're going to be concerned with, um, is this right here where it tells you if you have good good body placement that means if this right here is really sticking well to your skin and then it tells you the battery that's in this and the battery that's on the phone so it comes with this is the second part first first part second part, and third part is going to be the plug little plug right here and the plug has, as you can see, it's forked like this because this one can go into the phone and they always give you two of these. It looks like a little flash drive. And what this does is one is gonna be in here and then the other one's gonna be your spare one, which is charging. And all you have to do to change this, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to change it. Um, I'm gonna unplug it from this. I'm going to, let's see, just pull it out of there like that. That's all you do. It doesn't even tug on the skin. So I just pulled it out and I'm going to look at how it went in. So the number is facing that way. I'm going to make sure that this one here lines up the second one. And I'm going to just, this is going to plug into that. Like that. I've got it plugged in and there will be something that's going to pop up on my phone in a second and when it pops up on here it's going to ask me um, it, it'll ask me how it's placed do I have it placed this way because you can also wear this vertical instead of horizontal so this right here is going to pop up in a few minutes and it'll say are you wearing it horizontal or vertical and the way in which you place this is important. You look at the middle of your throat here and you come down into the middle here. So you kind of go this way 
and then you look at your collarbone over here so you go like in between these two areas um, the book is very helpful with how you place this you don't want to place it up here and you don't want to place it way down there but anyway I will show you what I do with this when it when it's unplugged ah, when I take it out I'm gonna plug it back in here and charge this up and all you do is just stick it in there like that and then the phone I'm gonna stick it in here to get that plugged up as well and by the way when you do change these out there's gonna be a button on here that you push there's a little button that you push that's going to let my phone here know that I'm using a different monitor in there. So in a few minutes, this thing is going to like beep. And it says on this one right here that I have poor skin contact, if you could see. So I've got to fix that. And right now it says it's checking. So it does this little thing here with the graph and it's checking my heart rhythm as you can see with this. Just wait a minute for it. <laughs> um, and here at the bottom it says your skin, my skin contact is good. So that means that I do have it on right it's detecting my heartbeat and let's see and see where I told you it's gonna ask if I'm wearing it vertical or horizontal as you can see this one's the horizontal so I'm just gonna tap that button there and and voila it tells me that I have good skin placement I've got a hundred percent left on the monitor battery which is this that I just plugged in and as far as the phone life goes I have 35 percent left on that okay so if there's more questions about this um, it's simple this right here has to be within about 10 feet of you at all times even when you're sleeping so that's why I found an old fanny pack that I put it in and that way I can carry it around my arm or carry it around my waist and I don't forget it. Uh, when I'm in the kitchen or when I'm watching TV or on the computer I just plug it up on the charger and that way I have everything working all the time together. Um, swimming, they tell me that I can go swimming in this if I want to. Uh, swimming up to so many feet I can't remember because I have no interest in going swimming while wearing a heart monitor. But what I do have an interest in is I can get a shower with it on. So being able to get a shower is really awesome. Um, it, is, it is waterproof. As you can see on the manual right here, it shows the, the water droplets indicating it's waterproof. People seem to be really big and excited about the fact that it's waterproof though. Um, shows right here replacing the, the strip and I'll tell you something I'll show you one of the strips that I have removed um, so I actually have one here in the doctor's office they gave me uh, some I'm just trying to find it here for you they gave me a strip in the doctor's office to use for this. It was the one that that came with it. And let's see. Um, it was like one of these two here. So as you can see, there's a difference in these strip materials between this one and the whoops and the, and the one on whoa <laughs> the one on this side. There's a difference in these strips. So the first set of strips that they gave me in the doctor's office, they kept coming off every single, every two days they were coming off. So I was able to reorder the strips really easy. I went online, well not online, I went on the phone, called the company, and the company's really great about answering on the first or second ring for some reason. So I like the company. They were able to send me some more strips 
which, you know, they, look, they come in a thing like this, the strips do. And it's just real simple. When you take it out of here, you peel this part off right here. And it's really important to make sure you get the placement right. I would look in the mirror because the first person that's going to put it on is probably going to be the technician or nurse at your doctor's office. So just kind of look where it came off and you'll replace it the same, the same way in the same position. And it's important to kind of notice in through here and notice the collarbone over there. Um, and I'll show you how it works if you're having like a moment where you absolutely need to push the button so that the doctor will pay attention or ever who's monitoring it, what they do, they tell me how it works. There's a button on here that I can push. Um, I could go ahead and push it and just show you how it works. I will, for the sake of the video. You hold this button in and you hear a few beeps. So I'm hearing like seven, eight, eight beeps. All right, so I push the button. You're in the middle, you can't really see it. And in just a minute, there's gonna be a message that comes to my cell phone and it's gonna ask me what I'm feeling, what I'm experiencing. And this part, the nurse did not tell me about. She told me to just wear the thing and she said if they need to contact me, they will. So she did not prepare me for what I'm gonna to explain to you guys. She didn't tell me anything about pushing the button. That came from reading the directions. Hold on, I dropped something. I'm coming right back. Okay. Actually, I just dropped my shoe. My shoe came off. I dropped this first and then I dropped my shoe. Okay. <clears throat> So this right here comes up, and as you can see, it's asking me the symptoms that I'm feeling right now. Um, all of these are checked, and none of these are correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and push. Let's see. I'll show you the whole thing. It goes from, like, dizziness down here. Shortness of breath is actually checked, and I could check a different one if you see that. I haven't hit send yet. But it says up here, select all that apply. So you can select more than one. Passed out, that is it's like, how are you gonna push it if you're passed out? But tired or fatigued, uh, flutter or skipped beats, chest pain or pressure, passed out, shortness of breath, rapid or fast heartbeat, lightheadedness, dizziness, so, on this one, I actually do feel a little bit lightheaded, so I will push the lightheaded one. I actually have a headache too. Um, so I'm gonna hit save, and then it goes back to that. It says monitoring. So when you push the button here, you're gonna push it when you're feeling something different. If you're feeling the fluttering, if you're feeling uh, pain. For me, I was feeling pain for, for a while because two months ago, around two months ago, I was put in the hospital for severe chest pain and I had pericarditis. I don't know if you've ever had that before or not, but I'm at the tail end of it and it's been almost eight weeks, which is a long time to have to go through this. But they put me on a heart monitor for 30 days to try to figure out what's going on. Um, but anyways, so when you push this thing, which I was having chest pain so bad, it's unreal. So all the times I was pushing it saying chest pain, my chest pain was constant. Because I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Just keep pushing this over and over. And they're like, um, well, I called the nurse back because she didn't tell me that one, like I said, when I got it until I read the directions. So I called the nurse and I said, hey, I noticed I'm supposed to push these buttons for things. And I'm like, am I supposed to just keep pushing it because I've got all this heart, you know, this chest pain in here. I mean, it was so bad just to just, you know, do this hurt or to even try to lay back, I could not do it. Or lean forward, like to bend over to do dishes, pick up socks, laundry. I couldn't do that at all for about a month. I mean, it was bad and it's going away. Uh, slowly but surely and they said it would take time six about six to eight weeks or so 
Um, and I'm on medication to help with that, by the way. They put me on some medicine to help. And I'm not going to tell you my medicine because people take different things. Um, but anyway, <laughs> your doctor will find the right thing for you or the right combination. Mine was a combination. So anyway, um, like if you're having shortness of breath, that would be a new symptom with the chest pain that I was having. Now, as my chest pain started to subside, what happened was I would sometimes get like I would move and I would get a sharp pain. So now I'm having like, instead of my pain being an eight or a nine, it's down to like, a, say a two or a three. And that's like the past few days, it's been a two or a three. It really is it, taken a while. But we'll say my chest pain was a six. But if I did something like that, you know, just moved or if I went up the stairs and I noticed a sharper pain or something that felt a little bit different or if I felt fluttering, you know how you can feel that flutter in your heart. So if I felt a flutter that came on, anything that I felt like that or if I started feeling like my heartbeat was going, you know, real rapid, then I would push the button. The company that's monitoring me is monitoring me 24 hours a day. Um, if they see anything new than what they do, I mean, just on their end, even if I don't push the button, if the person that's monitoring it notices something, if they contact my doctor's office and the doctor's office, um, they let them know what happened or what they saw and they make the decision whether to tell me to come into the office or whether to tell me to go to the emergency room. Um, so that's what, what they do. Now when I push the button, because you know how, I know it's hard to believe, but sometimes when you're on a heart monitor, like even if you're in the hospital, the people that work in there monitoring your heart, they could be looking at several screens at one time rather than just one patient for the whole day. They could have multiple patients. And so when you push the button, it's gonna trigger them to, to check out this particular monitor. And they will, look, they, they will look at this, I don't know if they look for a minute or if they look for three or four minutes, but they do look. So when that, this button is pushed, they're already monitoring it, but like I said, life happens. Maybe they had to go on, you know, restroom break or something. But when this button's pushed, that means that they're definitely going to be looking at it and recording it right at that moment. Um, so, honestly, wearing this monitor makes me feel very safe. It's going to be in a few days when I have to give it up. I've been wearing it for over three weeks now. So in a few days when I have to give it back, um, considering everything that I've been through and how I have actually felt, it's going to be in a way, it's going to be kind of scary because to me, this is kind of like a crutch right now. If I feel something, I can push that button. Um, and I won't have that when I turn it in. But with 30 days, they're going to have enough data to be able to hopefully figure out what it is that's going on if something caused it.